So I'm going to take a different uh, approach with Finale Print Music 2011. Um, I wanted this program for a specific reason. I wanted to create perhaps a method book for my guitar and drum students. And I, I assumed this program would do that easily for me. However, once I got it, I realized, you know, really what it is for is, uh, you know, for choral arrangements, well, you know, for any sort of scores or arrangements. And it's fantastic at that. And I kind of thought it was a little limited into what I really wanted to do. Uh, but I did find some workarounds and I thought I would post this because I could not find very much information into uh, doing what I want to do, which was, for example, set up a page so I could have numerous songs on it with numerous titles and um, you know get rid of uh, get rid of measure numbers and and all the extraneous uh, uh, text so here's how I did it and again there may be some ways around this that I don't know but I've tried and I couldn't find them so I'm gonna go to choral style and the reason for that is it's going to allow me to add text I'm not gonna add lyrics but I'm going to add titles so we're gonna click next and in this case, I'm going to do it for guitar, and you have to select this. There's no way around that at the moment, so you click that. Title is going to be, let's say, a Guitar Method Book. Let's say that's what I want to create. Let me learn how to spell method, and then we're good to go. And so for the subtitle, let's call this uh, perhaps Notes on you know, the First String. If we were doing an easy guitar book. You can leave the rest of this because we're going to get rid of it. So everything else looks pretty good, 4-4 four, four times, C major. We're going to go and change, I'm going to at least change, to 32 measures uh, per page. So that's going to create our document. That's going to pop up here in a moment. And there we go. I'll move this over. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is I want to change this so I can have four measures per line. So what we do, and you, I'm using a program called Screenium for the Mac, which is fantastic for screen capture, but it doesn't happen to get right up in here. So you want to go to the Utilities file, uh, drop-down window, and uh, click Fit Measures, and there is a shortcut for that. And we're going to lock the layout with four measures per system, all measures at this point, so we click Yes, and then we're going to have, that's going to take place. Now you're going to see locks here. Those will not print, by the way. So there we have our four measures, and now I could, you know, do my songs. You're going to notice that we have these measure numbers. I don't like those. We don't need them because, of course, if my first little guitar song is only four measures long, this doesn't make sense. So I'm going to get rid of those, and I'm going to show you how in a moment. But you see we have lyrics and guitar. I have tried every which way to get rid of these, delete and all these things. I couldn't find a way to get rid of them. So I finally thought, well, let me just drag them out of here, and it actually worked. And I tested that, I printed them, I saved them, I called them back up, and they don't exist. So we're going to get, you know, you could leave this in here, of course, but I'm just going to use old uh, created music uh, that I've done, so we don't need to put that in there. And you go ahead and you can start dragging these out as well. Now, I've tried to select a whole bunch of them and drag them out at the same time. That didn't seem to work. So I, I was out of tricks at that point. I'm going to move that over here. And I know this is taking a while, but anyway, you get the point. You can remove the rest of those. The copyright, you can drag his sorry ass out of there. Okay. So what we're going to do is let's go, and I'll give you um, a couple of little tips that, uh, you know, you should know, and most of you probably do. Uh, let's just enter a little song here. So we got, you know, just some quarter notes. And let's say I wanted a little quarter note rest there. We've got it there. All we have to do is hit the R button or the R key. And that's changed it now into our, the rest. And we're using quarter notes. If we were using eighth notes, it would change it to an eighth note rest, etc. So we'll go ahead and just finish up our song here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm going to back that up with uh, Command Z. I'm using a Mac, of course, so that's the command for, to undo. And we'll just finish this up. Okay. So there we go. Now that's the end of our first little song, and we want to note that. So we go up to our measure tool, we click on the measure tool, and you'll see it's all in purple. Then we right click on that and go to bar line and select final. So now that's the little end of our song. We want to make a title for it, so we click A for text, and we double click on the page, and we're going to call this the greatest song ever written. Ever spelled wrong. <laughs> okay, 
it's these little tiny Mac keyboards. It's so tiny. I am not used to this. Okay. So we're going to move that. We're moving in position. I just grabbed it and now we've moved it here, but let's say we want it bigger. Now here's how you change the font. You have to go over and click your text and you're going to notice once you do that, uh, you may not see this in screening, but the, uh, the text folder uh, has appeared up here. Um, and so what we're going to do is we have to click on this for it to turn purple. Now we can go into text, font, and let's, let's select Arial Black. Now we got Arial Black. Now let's go back and we'll change the size, maybe up to like an 18. After all, after all it is the greatest song ever written, right? And there we go. So now we've got that. And now, of course, we could go and do another song um, just to make uh, ease of use. I'm going to click our measure tool and I'm going to just drag my mouse and select this whole thing. And now it's all in purple. I'm going to command C or copy that. And then I'm going to go down here and select the first measure and, and uh, press con or command V. And now I've got that. Now I haven't found a way to copy lyrics or titles. Maybe there is a way. I don't know. I've, I've, so I've got this selected. And let me just go and try this. Maybe this will work. If I go here and then press Command C. Let me see if I can, I can't, I'll see if I can, can Command V anywhere. No. Nope. And go up here to edit. And my copy and paste, they are not happening. So that's okay. We'll click the A. We'll double click here. And let's call this the second greatest song ever written. And again, we're going to change that font, or we could. I, I've already showed you how to do that, so that's not a particularly big deal. And then we want to move these out of the way. Oh, let's move. Oops, I moved this back a bit. There we go. So we're going to move the five out of the way that out. Sometimes they pop back in. I don't know why. Something causes them, maybe the text feature or something causes them to, to be brought back in. So anyway, we have that. And just for those who, who aren't sure, I'm just going to click somewhere else. If you go in and you click a note and you want that stem to be going the other direction, click L and you'll have it. Or you click it back and forth. There you go. And so that's a that was a really handy feature that I just happened to discover. And not that you would want those stems going up there, but if you need to do that anywhere, it's especially handy for drum music, for hi-hats or designating bass drum. It's definitely a great way. So there we go. So hopefully this has helped you. Again, this is Finale Print Music 2011. I think the program is worth about, um, retails about $130, something like that. Definitely worth it. If you're looking to do something that's, uh, you know, that you have far more uh, capabilities in, uh, it's, it's far and above beyond the, the notepad uh, version of this program.